everyone, so today I am going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this makeup look. Um, it is using a, oh I'm really on the wonk, um, it is using a fantastic pigment, it is called Old Gold from MAC. It's sort of a goldy greeny shade which I just absolutely adore um, and so I've got that as my main focus on my lids today. I've also used the Naked One palette for this tutorial as well and unfortunately my camera stopped recording somewhere throughout the tutorial and didn't film the rest. I think it was just my lips so if it was just a few products then I will leave a list of obviously all the products that I use in the video and I will include these products in as well. I love this lip combination as well. It is using my Dior Grage pencil, my MAC Creme de Nude and also a shimmer lip or a lip shimmer from Burt's Bees in the shade Champagne which is this gorgeous sort of shimmery nude shade. So yes, yeah, so I hope you enjoy this, sorry, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. It is absolutely stunning for fall, autumn, winter, any time like that. It's just such a gorgeous shade and I absolutely love this makeup look. So if you want to see how I created this look then be sure to check out my tutorial. I've gone in and primed my eyes with my usual products so I've gone in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion and my Paint Pot in Painterly and I'm now taking the Naked One palette and that Naked shade which is like a light brown transition colour and I'm using a MAC 224 brush I believe it's called I'm just blending that into my crease so I'm now going in with Buck again from the Naked palette and I'm just applying this with my E25 blending brush from Sigma. I'm just deepening up the outer corner and also the crease. Going in with the old gold pigment from MAC and this is the main focus of our look. I'm applying that with a MAC 239 shadow brush, which is just a very small eyeshadow brush. I'm just packing this pigment all on my lid. So I'm now going back in with that Buck shade on that E25 brush and I'm just applying some more of that colour into the outer corner and crease, just to deepen up anything that we may have lost. So I'm now going in with Dark Horse and I'm taking that on a tapered E45 blending brush from Sigma. I'm just really deepening up this outer corner. So I'm just going back in with that E25 blending brush with just a little bit more of that buck shade on just to blend this deep colour out and I'm also now going in with that naked shade and that 224 brush from MAC and just really blending these colours out. So I'm just going back in with that old gold pigment and I'm just applying a little bit more onto my lid just in case we've lost any of it when we've blended the um, colours together. Now going in with the Sleek Conceal and Correct palette, I'm just taking the concealer shade and just taking that and making a nice precise line um, in our eyeshadow just to neaten all of that edge up. applying my Laura Mercier oil free foundation primer all over my skin and then I'm going in with my L'Oreal Perfection Magic Blur I believe it's called and just applying this where I get really oily and just over any blemishes to help smooth down the texture. my Estee Lauder foundation all over my face, this is in the shade 1N1 and I'm now just blending it all together with my Sigma F80 foundation brush. As you can see I'm just going in with a second coat because it was extremely pale and I have fake tanned so I just applied a little bit more to match with my neck and my skin so you can see I'm just blending that all out again.
just gone in with my MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm just patting that concealer over any blemishes and redness I have. I then blended it over again with my F80 Sigma foundation brush. So I'm now going in with my MAC Pro Long Wear Concealer and just applying this to the highlighted areas of my face. So underneath my eyes and also down the centre. And I'm now blending that out with my F86 Tapered Kabuki Brush which is amazing for concealer. For my powder today I'm using my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in the shade Light Plus and just packing this on with a kabuki brush. So I'm not really applying too much but I'm just pressing the powder into my skin. And then to set all of my highlight areas I used my Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I'm now going in with Hoola Bronzer from Benefit and my Chanel Contour Brush which is the number 2. I'm just applying this to my skin to just warm up that foundation that we've applied. I'm using my Hoola today because like I said I've self tanned and my foundation was a little off. So for my contour I'm going in with my NYX blush in the shade Taupe and I'm taking a Real Techniques contour brush and just applying it to any areas that I want to recede. Um, so like underneath my cheekbones, my jawline and also my temples. highlight today I'm using MAC Soft and Gentle and applying that with a stippling brush to the high points of my face as you can see just on my cheekbones, my nose and also on my cupid's bow. So I'm going to do my brows off camera but here are the products that I used and I also went in with the virgin shade from the Naked 2 palette and highlighted underneath my brow bone. As always the products will be listed below. I'm just going to go in and finish off my eyes now. So I'm taking a MAC 219 brush and applying that pigment to the inner corners. And then I'm applying the deeper shade on the outer corner, just connecting up the outer corners. I went ahead and did my liner, mascara and false lashes off camera, but I will list everything below for you. I wanted a fairly tanned shade blush today so I'm applying my Dim Infusion from Hourglass with my F10 brush from Sigma. And for my lip products I used my Dior Grage lip liner as you can see now. I then applied my Creme de Nude um, lipstick from MAC and then I topped it up with a lip shimmer from Burt Bees in the sh shade Champagne. So here is the look complete for you. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you all very soon. You just have to kind of excuse my brows today because they don't match them. Um, and I think I'm going to go in with my eyes. So I'll probably zoom you in 